Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the CVU Show. I'm Miranda. And I'm Autumn. On May 17th, the concert band, symphonic band, and jazz ensemble are having a concert. And on the 18th, there is a choir and wind ensemble concert. Please come and support our CVU musicians. As I'm sure most of you know, May 13th is prom. The theme this year is Old Hollywood. A reminder that for rising juniors, applications for the Junior Lot Lottery are due by May 19th at 3.30 p.m. Results will be posted after school on May 22nd. Juniors and seniors are encouraged to attend a free Meet the Coast Guard event on July 21st at 9 a.m. Transportation to and from the station will not be provided. The student along with their parents slash guardians are invited to tour the station and take a 15 minute boat ride. Free t-shirts are given to those who attend and a pizza lunch will be served. There are a limited amount of seats available, so register quickly by calling the number on the screen or by emailing christopher.n.oakley at uscg.mil. On Monday, May 15th, representatives from local public libraries will be in four corners to sign their residents up for library cards, talk about summer programming, and further school-town partnerships. Public libraries are a great resource for people who want to learn new things, improve their skills, or simply relax and enjoy a good book. So please visit your local library. And now, we have a special segment about misgendering that was submitted to the CVU show. Hi, my name is Lance Morin. I use they them pronouns. And today, we'll be talking about misgendering and pronouns. A pronoun is a word used to place in someone's name. Everyone has pronouns, and the pronouns you're probably most like, most used to, is she, her, and he, him. But some people also use gender neutral pronouns, such as these, them, and they, them. A great way to avoid misgendering people is by asking what their pronouns are, or introducing yourself with your pronouns to encourage others to do the same, like I did at the beginning of this video. But what's misgendering? I'm so glad you asked. Misgendering is to refer to someone, especially a transgender person, using a word, specifically a pronoun, or form of address that does not reflect their gender identity. Some examples of misgendering are using the wrong pronouns for someone. This is my friend. He likes candy using gendered language to refer to someone which doesn't align with their gender identity this is my sister Aiden or using gendered language to refer to a group of people which doesn't align with one or more of the group's gender identity bye ladies what? <laughs> identity plays a large role in many people's lives when someone misgenders you it can imply that they don't recognize your gender identity this can be distressing especially if it happens often when being misgendered, it can feel as though others don't respect you and you can't be your whole authentic self around others. But what if I accidentally misgender someone or I didn't know that they changed their pronouns? Well, it's completely human to make mistakes and it's easy to correct yourself. Here are four easy steps to take if you accidentally misgender someone. 1. Apologize. Make sure your apology is brief so you do not draw unwanted attention and make someone feel uncomfortable rather than reassured. If someone else corrected you, thank them. 2. Correct yourself. If you've used incorrectly gendered language, simply restate what you've said using the correct gendered language, such as switching he-him pronouns to they-them pronouns. 3. Move on. Making your mistake the focus of conversation can prolong the discomfort of being misgendered. 4. Take steps to avoid making the same mistake in the future. Some quick things you could do is practice using the correctly gendered language in your head so you get comfortable with it. You could also take it a step further and engage with self-education resources and events to better your understanding of trans people, identities, and experiences. Okay, that sounds pretty easy, but what if someone else makes a mistake and doesn't correct themselves? That's a perfect chance for you to kindly correct them. Just like if you made a mistake, you'd want someone to point it out and remind you. There are two easy ways you can go about telling someone they've made a mistake, calling them in or calling them out. Calling someone out doesn't mean to yell at them or to put them on the spot and embarrass them. In this scenario, it simply means to publicly remind them of yours or someone else's pronouns, such as saying, actually, she uses she her pronouns. Another way to go about correcting someone would be to call them in. Calling someone in is where you pull someone aside and correcting them there. In this scenario, you'd be pulling someone aside and reminding them of the correct gendered language. 
An example of calling someone in is if a teacher used the wrong pronouns for you during a class discussion and you went up to them after class and kindly reminded them of the pronouns you use. Wow, now I know what misgendering is and how to correct myself and others. Thanks so much. Of course, and now you do too. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Lance, for that very informative video. May 12th is Spring Rally in the Valley, hosted at 7 p.m. in the main gym. Varsity sports teams will perform dances throughout the night and the Athletic Leadership Council will have mini games in between dances. Also during rally, a winter banner ceremony will be held to honor winter state champions. Come show your support. What's up everybody, it's Liam here for sports. The school year is coming to a close, meaning spring sports are going to be wrapping up soon. On Friday, Varsity and JV Boys Ultimate played MMU. Varsity won 15-6. JV also won their game 11-8. Varsity and JV Boys Lax played on Tuesday against BFA. Varsity won 10-4 and JV tied 6-6. And on Wednesday, both Lax teams played Rice. Varsity won 15-9 and JV won 11-2. Lots of upcoming games are happening this weekend. On Saturday, Boys JV Ultimate have a tournament at the football field. Girls Varsity and JV Lax are playing BFA at A field. Boys and Girls Varsity Tennis are playing BHS. Boys Varsity JV and JVB Baseball have games. Varsity and JV are playing MMU and JVB is playing Missisquoi Valley and girls varsity sophomore is also playing MMU. For professional sports, the Denver Nuggets are the fan favorites to win in the NBA this year. For the MLB, the Tampa Bay Rays just tied the record for the most wins to start a season with 13. And they still have the best record in MLB. For the NHL, the Chicago Blackhawks are off to the best 20 game start in NHL history. They are the only team in, in league history to get points in each of their first 20 games. That's it for sports. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Liam. Seniors, be sure to check the end of the year senior timeline at the link below for events leading up to graduation. There is the Nick Kenyon $1,000 scholarship to support young people's pursuit of careers in farming. Applications are due by June 30th. For more application information, go to the link below. Now, we have a special interview with the student artist who is painting a mural in the library. My name is Samuel Hunter. I am a sophomore here at CVU and I'm painting a mural. I um, was basically hired by the librarians um, through art club, uh, after school art club and that allowed me to start this and they recommended going to Nexus, so I'm doing it through Nexus. I've been working on it the entire second semester and a little bit at the end of the first semester. Thank you, Sam, for taking the time to meet with us. For my human impact project this year, I am working with Cheyenne M, Emma C, Skylar V, Emma M, Rachel M, Emma R, and Deirdre H, to make a positive impact regarding ending violence against women. This group is hosting a 50-50 ticket raffle and selling bracelets to help raise awareness for this issue. All profits from these fundraisers will be going to the local Vermont charity Steps to End Domestic Violence. The fundraisers will be held during all lunch blocks on white days next week. If you are a part of a spring sports team, consider talking to your coaches about purchasing bracelets for your whole team. You can contribute to this fundraiser in person or you can scan the QR code on posters around the school to pre-order bracelets. If you are interested in the raffle or buying a bracelet, we encourage you to donate to our GoFundMe at the link below. The raffle winner will be announced on May 24th, which is also the deadline to pre-order your bracelets. In related news, at 6 p.m. on Monday the 15th, the Girls Varsity Ultimate Team is collaborating with Student Act Club to raise awareness for sexual violence and its perpetuation through sports culture. 
show up at the game at 6, and wear pink to support this important cause. The question we asked you this week was what's your dream job and why? Let's check it out. Uh, my dream job would be uh, designing video games for Nintendo as not only are they my favorite video game company, but I feel like a video game designer would be just such a fun thing to do. Um, and I think it would just be super cool just being with a part of a whole different community. And I think I'd fit right in. I think it would be really perfect for me. I would be a musician because they make a lot of money and it seems like a fun job. To work with childcare because it's just like entertaining to work with childcare and they need more of that. One of my dream jobs is to be a cook and because I really like making food. To work construction because my dad's done it for years. Hi, I'm Calvin and my dream job is definitely opening up my own business. Probably a sports card shop because I really like sports. Uh, my dream job would probably be a sports photographer because you get free access to free sports games and you get paid uh, a, a lot of money. For a dream job, I would like to be in the MLB because I think that baseball is a pretty fun sport. Thank you to everyone that answered this week's question. To end today's show, we have a riddle. I can fill a room, yet I take no space. What am I? Comment down below if you know the answer. And that wraps up this week's show. Thanks for watching and see you next week.